arrangements that are being made around these games to help uh, the CFL. Other than the New Orleans Saints during Hurricane Katrina, the last time an NFL team played regular season games on a regular basis in another city was the Green Bay Packers in Milwaukee in 1994. The Bills, meanwhile, confirmed again that the league views Toronto as part of its territory since the city is less than 75 miles away from Buffalo. Farhan Lalji, TSN. Another hot topic for the commissioner was the Spygate affair. Remember back at the start of the season when he penalized the Patriots for videotaping New York Jets' defensive signals? Well, U.S. Senator Arlen Specter wants an investigation into why the NFL destroyed that video evidence. And while Goodell admits he'd be happy to talk to the senator, he says the NFL did the right thing and has nothing to hide. Meanwhile, some members of the 1972 Miami Dolphins, still to this point, the only perfect team in NFL history, had a news conference to, perhaps for the final time, justify their place as the NFL's greatest team ever. And let me ask you a question. If 17 trees fell in the forest 35 years ago, did they make a sound? Answer, yes, you just maybe weren't there to hear it. <laughs> but it still happened. In essence, when I'm asking these questions, I'm asked these questions and I'm answering, at times it seems like a movie star talking to Ray Charles. I can tell you, but you're really not gonna get the picture until Sunday. This is the only time there is right now. This was founded in 1972. So you can't craft the conversation around 19 wins. You have to craft the conversation around the zero at the end. Because if they complete a season without having lost a game, then they will be equal with the 1972 Miami Dolphins. They will not be behind us. They will not be in front of us. They will have joined the concept of equality. Then again, if they lose, they'll be like the Bears, 18 and 1. <laughs> Boy, Mercury Morris is making sure the 72 Dolphins do not go quietly. Joined now by our Super Bowl analyst, Jesse Palmer. Chris Schultz is under the weather. Jesse, the 